Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On June 6, 2022, DAC has accorded acceptance of necessity for capital acquisition proposal of armed forces amounting to Rs 76,390 crores which is almost equivalent to $10 billion under Buy Indian, Buy and Make Indian and Buy Indian IDDM categories. The list of procurement is huge and we won't be able to cover each of them in detail. So in this video, we will summarize all the major procurement items. We will be further making detailed video on all these platforms for better clarity. For Army, it includes procurement of rough terrain, forklift trucks, bridge laying tanks, wheeled armored fighting vehicles with anti-tank guided missiles and weapon locating radars through domestic sources with emphasis on indigenous design and development. If you are following our updates regularly, we have already informed that Swati WLRs, which is part of this procurement, is being produced by BEL and it has two versions. The first one is based on 8x8 wheeled platform and second one is based on 6x6 wheeled platform. At present, the quantity and the version of Swati WLR to be used is not clear. The second important one is the wheeled armored fighting vehicles which is mostly going to be Tata WAP but with more advanced turret. WAP is going to be integrated with ATGMs which is most likely to be DRDO's developed NAG anti-tank guided missiles. Besides ATGMs, the anti-tank variant of WAP is also expected to have added armor protection using external add-on armors. It will also feature remote control weapon station with thermal sights. For Indian Navy, DAC has accorded AON for the procurement of next generation Corvettes NGC at an estimated cost of approximately 36,000 crore rupees. These NGCs will be versatile platform for a variety of roles, for example, surveillance missions, escort operations, deterrence, surface action, search and attack, coastal defense, etc. These NGCs would be constructed based on new in-house design of Indian Navy using latest technology of shipbuilding and would contribute further towards the government's initiative of SAGAR that is security and growth for all in the region. Indian Navy's new next generation Corvette will also have higher firepower and longer range than Pakistan Navy's Babur class Corvettes or Chinese PLN Navy's Type 056. Corvette. DAC has also accorded for the manufacture of Donier aircraft and Su-30 MKI aero engines by HL with focus on enhancing indigenization, particularly in aero engine material. HL has already been manufacturing AL-31 FP engine that powers Su-30 MKI. However, this attempt is to increase more indigenization content and reduce import dependency on Russia. Manufacture of Donia aircraft will also boost tactical transport capability of Indian Air Force. The Donia Do-228 aircraft is a multi-purpose, fuel-efficient, rugged, lightweight, twin-turboprop aircraft with a retractable tricycle landing gear. The Donia Do-228 cockpit is designed to accommodate two crew members and is fitted with duplicate controls. The cabin can accommodate 19 passengers in commuter configuration. While the airframe might look pretty conventional in design, the impressive glass cockpit and the electronics and avionics upgrade of the aircraft has made it a very versatile aircraft. In pursuance of government's vision for digital transformation, in defense, Digital Coast Guard project under Buy Indian category has also been approved by DAC. Under this project, a pan-India secure network for digitizing of various surface and aviation operations, logistics, finance and HR process in Coast Guard will be established. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.